One such culture that made great advancements in the tracking of time was the Maya of Central America. They created a calendrical system that tracked time to such a precise degree that it still fascinates scholars today. Their unique style of counting allowed them to make predictions thousands of years in the future. But just how did an ancient culture from Mesoamerica come up with a calendar system that is almost as precise as the one we use today? Let's find out. When we look at the Maya's calendrical system, we will first notice that they didn't have a single calendar the way we do today. Instead, they had three primary calendars that worked in correlation with one another. Before we begin, if you're interested in early access to videos and live chats with the creator of Intrigued Mind, consider subscribing to our Patreon. Your support will greatly help us keep the channel producing more intriguing content. The Maya were an ancient Mesoamerican people who inhabited parts of modern-day North and Central America, mainly in present-day Mexico and Guatemala. The civilization is most notably known for their pyramids that tower over their ancient cities, yet the Maya are also known for their expertise in astronomy and mathematics. The system of mathematics created by the Maya has been referred to as the most sophisticated ever discovered in the Americas. Their counting system required only three symbols, a dot represented one, a bar, five, and a shell, zero. These symbols were used in various combinations, giving them the ability to count to an infinite number. The Maya used a system based on 20 instead of 10 for their calculations. So, while our mathematical system counts in sequences of 1, 10, 100, and 1000, the Maya used 1, 20, 400, and 8000. This unique form of mathematics enabled them to create an extensive system of calendars that allowed them to track time accurately over long periods. At first glance, the hieroglyphs used to record time on Maya calendars may seem rather daunting, but it all comes down to a fairly simple principle that uses specific hieroglyphic signs to count the individual days of the year. The first thing to understand about the Maya is that they had an avid fascination with tracking time, so much so that it's been estimated they created anywhere from 10 to 20 separate calendars, but only a few of these took prevalence over the others. The primary Maya calendar was actually made up of two separate circular calendars that corresponded with one another. These circles are referred to as rounds and rotated alongside each other like cogs on a machine. In the late 19th century, Ernst Forstmann was one of the first non-natives to discover how this magnificent system of interlocking circles or rounds worked. He went on to extensively document it in a series of papers and books. The first of these rounds was the Hop calendar or their version of a solar calendar. It is relatively similar to our modern calendrical system, but consisting of 18 months, each with 20 days. It also had an unusual addition of five extra days at the end of the year, which were considered unlucky. This gives a total of 365 days for the Hop calendar. During the five-day period known as the Wayeb, the Maya would gather around sacred fires and perform rituals and special offerings in hope of warding off ill fortune. The Hop calendar was primarily used as an agricultural calendar, and from this count, the Maya would know when to plant crops and when to harvest. The Tolkien, otherwise known as the Sacred Calendar, is slightly more complex. It's made up of two circular rounds, with the smaller of the two rotating within the other. Sometimes this calendar is even called the Pregnancy Calendar, as it lasts about the length of an average human pregnancy. The outer round of the Tolkien calendar contained 20 day names, and the inner round comprised a series of numbers stretching from 1 to 13. The two rounds of the Tolkien calendar matched up once every 260 days. The Maya used this particular calendar to plan ceremonial events honoring their various deities. As the Hob and Tolkien calendars worked in accordance with each other, they would coincide once every 52 years. The Maya referred to this alignment as a bundle, and this meant to them what a modern century means to us. The Maya, the indigenous people of southeast Mexico and northern Guatemala still use both of these calendars to this day and place a special reverence on this 52-year cycle. This is likely the origin of the belief within Maya culture that when a person reaches the age of 52, they will attain a special form of wisdom that's often ascribed to an elder. If any historical date of the mythological event went beyond the 52 years, then the Maya would use their third and largest calendar, known as the Long Count. Again, this separate calendar corresponds with the Tolkien and Hob, but was implemented to measure the continuous passage of time throughout much larger ages. This extensive calendar is represented by five individual counts of ascending cycles, starting from a fixed date. It begins with kins or days, and is followed up by winals, which comprise 20-day months. Tuns equate to 360 days, probably to generally equate to a solar year. Ka'atuns represent bundles of 20 tuns, and finally, Baktuns are equal to 20 Ka'atuns. 
While this may seem rather confusing at first, the long count is fairly similar to our Gregorian calendar, which also works in a system of five increasing cycles, including days, months, years, centuries, and millennia. The main difference in the Maya system are the names and lengths of the various cycles. The Maya used the long count calendar to record important cultural dates, such as the birth and death of historical kings and major wars. The long count played a significant role in understanding the Maya and their long history. From it, researchers were able to identify the Maya's belief in cyclical time, or in simpler terms, a system of time that moves in a circle as opposed to a linear fashion like our modern calendar. This extensive calendar starts from a fixed point, or what the Maya refer to as the current cycle of creation. So, just as our modern calendar starts at a fixed point of 0 CE for the birth of Jesus Christ, the Maya long count began in the year 3114 BCE. To them, this initiated a new great cycle of 5,128 years, a process that seemingly repeated indefinitely. The end of the current long count period was the 21st of December 2012. And because of this, a popular theory arose that the Maya had prophesied the end of the world on this date, but that was not the case. It's fairly likely that the Maya were not the inventors of their unique system of recording time. Instead, they inherited the base calendar models from older civilizations that lived in Central America, such as the mysterious Olmec. However, this isn't to say that the Maya merely did nothing to further the Mesoamerican system. On the contrary, it's highly likely that the Maya expanded upon an older system and implemented their own symbols that aligned with specific days and dates. It's clear from the studies done on the calendrical systems of Mesoamerica that they rank among the most intricate and precise of anywhere in the ancient world. The Maya are considered experts in the tracking of celestial bodies and recorded them on their calendars, monuments, and architectural masterpieces. While it may seem that the Maya were heavily fixated on dates and time, the major reasoning behind their extensive calendrical system was to correlate the actions of Maya rulers to historical and mythical events. Their legends about individual deities or high-ranking nobility were seen as the most important purpose of having such a calendar. From this dating, they would reenact the stories on the anniversary of the actual event. As well as being a window into the past for the Maya people, the priests would also predict events in the future. Various carved stelae at Maya sites in Central America record a future anniversary for a former ruler. One such example is the site of Palenque. It gives a date in the distant future of 4772 CE, when the Maya would celebrate the anniversary of the coronation of their king, Pakal. In some instances, it's clear that the Mayan Hob calendar was as precise as our modern Gregorian system, and they even share various similarities. When we compare both our modern calendar and that of the Mesoamerican Maya, historians and scientists can't help but give the Maya their utmost respect for they were able to create such a complex system without the use of any kind of technology. However, there was a small error in the Maya solar calendar, which they never accounted for. The Hob solar calendar ran for 365 days, like our modern Gregorian system. But one difference is that the Hob didn't account for the extra quarter day it takes for the Earth to rotate around the Sun. In modern times, we correct this by adding an extra day to the end of February every four years, and we call it a leap year. But the Maya, for whatever reason, did not care about this small error, and so their calendar wandered every so often in relation to actual seasons. The Maya calendar also shared a similar quality with our Gregorian version of astronomy. You see, the Maya had their unique form of the zodiac, albeit it was more in-depth and complicated. The Maya strongly believed that a birthday or day sign could determine certain factors of their fate in life. While we only have 12 zodiac signs, the Maya had 20 nohuales, each corresponding with a different animal or force of nature. These would also be accompanied with a galactic number between 1 and 13. Historians, archaeologists, and researchers alike, all to this day, are still unsure as to why the Maya went to such great lengths when creating their unique calendars. One answer to this question is that only the learned class of Maya culture had any control over the calendar. The everyday person did not need to learn about such a system. Thus, the priests can make the calendar as elaborate as they liked. Regardless of the reasoning behind it, the Maya calendars have continued to fascinate scholars around the world for their unique and complex system that was created at such a distant part of our past. For more videos on the most amazing forgotten parts of our history, be sure to subscribe to the Intrigued Mind channel. Like the video and leave your suggestions in the comments below.